welcome, welcome, welcome to today's video. We will be doing the $20 meal challenge. So we are on location here at the grocery store so the girls can go in and get their supplies. So Jayla and Ada are competing in today's video. Ada's the chef in the family. A few meatballs in there and then chop, chop, chop. Jayla's the artist, Ada Bear is the chef. May I use your cheese? No. Lovely pasta with meatballs and a garnish of cheese. We're ready. What do you have I for us? So I have the same thing that Ada said. What is this monster? She has the same thing that Ada said. You don't need gloves to hold the jar, it's not hot. Right, there's something up with the sauce. I'll the cheese here. <laughs> the item on the menu is spaghetti. So they have $20 to buy everything they need to make spaghetti. And they can each do their own different version. It doesn't have to be the same way. And then Jesse and I are gonna be the judges. She can jump. She can jump. This is her favorite thing to do when we come to the grocery store. She has to walk around and jump off of all the little platforms. All right, let's go again. It's gonna be a far one. Whoa! Here you go, my dear Jayla. Here's your cart. We gotta get a race car one. Ready for this? You think you can do it with $20? All I need all right. is noodles. All you need is noodles and for spaghetti sauce and, and sauce meatballs. and meat. Dollar sixty-five. That's linguine. You need spaghetti. What? We're making spaghetti here, that darling. Because we're doing spaghetti. It's, what did you get? Dollar sixty-nine. Ooh, expensive. Mine is dollar. You're taking a risk five. here. It's not expensive. Mine is sixty-five. Ada's is a little cheaper, so she's a few cents better, I guess. Get all these lovely sauces you have to choose from, you guys. Now, don't go cheap on the sauce, okay? Because this is what makes the spaghetti. Right, 99 cent sauce. 99 cent sauce? That's gross. You have $20. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap. It's all jarred. Get the jar. The jar is better than can. Look at this beautiful farmer's market. The metal taste comes out of the can. You like the metal taste in the sauce from the can? You enjoy that? This? Ada Bear is going for the garden vegetable picked at peak for $3.59. The reason why I got the veggie one is because I'm going to get meatballs for my um, pasta. They're gonna get meatballs already made? They have meatballs. Meatballs here already made. All right, mom said we need a meat flavored sauce. No, I said meat, actual real meat in the sauce, not meat yeah, flavored sauce. meat in the sauce. Oh my gosh. Like that is the point of the $20 meal challenge. You Yay! will be cooking. You will be cooking. <laughs> So here we have the girls' receipts. We have Ada's on the left, and her total was $18.10. So great job, you stayed under budget. Here we have Jayla's, and hers was $14.50. So great job for JJ too. He's both stayed under budget. Woohoo! Jayla opted for the pre-made meatballs, which could go good or bad. You never know, because you can't control the seasoning in those. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'm just gonna put these shoes in the pan. Ada decided to go with the grass-fed ground beef, and she is gonna be making your own meatballs, right? Should I put it on a pan? A bowl. A bowl. Yes, is and this weird season. That I eat this? Season it. You just want to eat it raw? Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to sneak raw meat like that. Don't worry. I don't recommend it though, because you could get really sick. Ew, that's disgusting. But I actually enjoyed it. You're gonna put that into a nice cold pan, huh? That's how that's going down. I did get the water boiling ahead of time because that takes quite a while. So they're gonna have to share the same pot of noodles. It's gonna be interesting to see how they pull that off. Oh, oh no, meatball down! It's fine. Just we had extras. <laughs> I have a question. Do I season it? Yes, before you make before your balls. Yes. Ada has a very interesting method of getting her beef out of the package. She just did the old squeeze and... It looked very unpleasant. Yeah, but it's gonna taste good. I was watching you after touching raw meat. Good pro tip, Jayla. That was a pro tip. And if you want to taste raw meat, just brush your teeth after. No, don't do that. I'm going to put 25 minutes on the clock. This is not super strict. I'm just kind of challenging the girls, really to see if they could pull off a spaghetti meal in 25 minutes, because that's about all it should take. There you go, we got meatballs in the pan. Way to go, JJ! Get on Ada Bear Station, she's got some, let me see what you got, Ada. We've got some Slap Your Mama. So it's really called Slap Your Mama, you guys, and that was that's made in my home state. Who is, who's interrupting the show? Who is interrupting the show? Of course, it's Jesse. Back to the scheduled program. What else do we have here? Mrs. Dash, very interesting. Seven spice seasoning. Okay, let's smell that. That's, this is one of my favorites for meat. Black pepper? Yes, and salt. And salt, of course salt. <laughs> All right, Jayla, what's going on over here in your station? We got boiling is water yet? To do it? What, the meatballs? Yeah, they're, they're looking great. They're fine. Okay. They smell really good too. That's too bad right. you didn't make those yourself. I did. Yeah, too bad those weren't homemade though, huh? They were. 
Just not by you? No, I just made them at home right now. Oh, you did? And yeah. packaged them nicely like, and made them look like they came from the grocery store? Gotta be patient. I'm not very patient. The biggest thing is making sure they're cooked all the way through. Yeah. Because you don't want to serve the judges raw meat. Working on our fourth meatball, and those look pretty good. You're making some big ones. Oh, some yeah. big papas. Cause what you do, you do a few meatballs in there, and then you chop, chop, chop. <laughs> Jayla already has her plating plate ready, These and none of her food good. is ready yet. What? You have to cook them. No noodles are not good like that. It's gonna hurt your teeth. And don't do that. Ada Bear is finishing up on her last meatball. Yay! You gotta oh, get so these in the pan. Something that I didn't tell you that I put in was oil. Oh, and your meatballs? I've never done that before. Interesting. I was watching YouTube and they were like, the, the, if you put oil in your meatballs, it makes them really juicy whenever you're done. Well, we're gonna have to test that out today, won't we? This one's a big one because that's just all my extras that I have. Okay, well make sure you cook that big one longer than all the others. Yeah. Because it's gonna need a little more time. Okay, Wait. good. Time check. Five minutes have already passed. Actually, six minutes. You have 19 minutes left. I'm fine. You won't be penalized at all. I just really wanted to challenge you guys to see. These are looking good. I think you need to lower your heat just a little bit. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I got you, girl. Really good. I got you. you there we go. That that's better. Yeah, girl, that's the pro. That's how the pros do it. Just be careful. Oh, okay. We don't want any more meatballs to fall over like earlier. We don't want a repeat of the past. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this yummy, yummy, yummy roasted garlic sauce is going that in. Good? No, you need all of it. What? Hurry before it splashes everywhere. For the whole jar, the whole jar. Oh yeah, girl. Cover them up. Okay. Cover it all up. I can't. It's hurting my brain. It's hurting your brain. I need two gloves. She needs two gloves for this job. I don't want any burns on this beautiful skin. She needs two gloves to pour in sauce, you guys. This is interesting. All of it. Just do it all. Oh, oh my goodness, my beautiful stove. Well, you were telling, this, this stove ain't beautiful. This is the most rational stove. <gasps> Careful, that's glass. You don't need gloves to hold the jar, it's not hot. Bear's noodles are going in. Did you salt your water? No, not yet. No, you should probably do that. Noodles in, woo, woo. That was sad. Let's, let's, let me help you out a little bit. That was sad. We're missing a noodle. We're missing a noodle. No, no noodles noodle. left behind. They're in. We have sauce and meatballs simmering away. We have more meatballs on the stove. I'm so excited to try all of this. I cannot wait. But let's do a quick time check. Okay, you guys have less than 14 minutes. 13 minutes and 45 seconds. Where's the cheese grater? I think you can do it. Cheese grater, right there. Woo! Ada spent a little bit of extra money to garnish her spaghetti because Ada's the chef in the family. Jayla's the artist, Ada Bear is the chef. So she always thinks of the extra little things to do. Or the it depends on what it is. Okay. But how about we each get one ingredient to One ingredient extra. I will allow that. Okay. So Jayla wants to use Ada's cheese, which is technically not from the fridge. That came out of her budget. So you have to ask her. May I use your cheese? No. It's a competition. Sorry. I'll just get the cheese from here. Meatball check. Meatball check on Ada's station. Looking good. Woo -hoo. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at all this deliciousness. Do we have a cheese thief? Me? Were you stealing her cheese? No. Uh, Why is there cheese on your plate? I don't know. That was probably from Ada. There's cheese on Jayla's plating plate. On my meatballs. Just done. ignore the weirdo in the back. <laughs> Ada, noodle check, noodle check. Jayla needs the pot. And we only have 10 minutes, ten minutes left. They are not done yet. Uh, I would taste one to make sure because they're probably about done. Just for my, my chefly expertise. Here. Use your little fingers. Is it hot? Are oh, they ready? They're ready. All right, things are getting chaotic, you guys. Oh my gosh, I gotta help Ada Bear get her noodles out because I don't want her dealing with hot water. Jayla's gotta get her noodles in and I kinda don't think she's gonna have enough time. So I'm trying my best to get it all done. Ada, you need to add your sauce to cook your noodles. I mean, your meatballs. Whatever I'm trying to say here. Daddy, I can't open my saucy sauce. I am pouring in my sauce. All right, Jayla, the pot's ready for you. It's ready, I did my duty. 
I'm done. I have four of them in. Yes, four of them in. Get them in there quick. And put the lid on. This is not the split. Check, time check. I see Smelly Belly Dad making sandwiches in the in the microwave. There you go. <laughs> Reflection. Okay, we are under the seven minute mark. I still see pink on Ada's meatballs and Jayla's noodles are very, very al dente. Like extra al dente right now, they're not ready. What do you think, Ada, are you gonna make it? Yes. You're gonna make this happen? Yes. Pro tip, if my meatballs are not done in time, I'm just gonna round them up and have like, a kind of like a sauce with the Loose meat, meat like loose meat, yeah. Right. Cause that'll cook faster, right? Mm -hmm. Jayla, are you gonna stir those noodles anytime soon? I was trying to, but Ada was like, Jayla, move! Oh. Like you can stir them with tongs. Tongs are the universal to kitchen tool, kitchen, kitchen tool. We have the chosen item from the fridge, parsley for garnish, because we eat with our eyes first, right? We eat with our eyes first. If it looks good, it makes us want to eat it. I just inhaled that. That's not a good, don't do that. That's bad, it's bad for you. Time check, time check. Two minutes and 46 seconds. You at least need a minute and a half to plate, is my suggestion. Jayla, have you checked your noodles yet to see if they're done? They don't They don't look quite done to me, but. You're the pro here, you gotta know I'm when they're the done. Pro. Ada Bear, if you wanna know if your meatballs are done, the best way to test it is to break one in half and just look. I'll do my tiny one. Let's see, oh Let my gosh. Really the moment of truth, guys, are the meatballs done? I know Jayla's are for sure, because hers have been cooking a long time. Let's see the inside. Let's see it. Oh, it's still a little pink. Uh-oh, what are you gonna do? Should we break them apart? You're at the two minute mark right now. But didn't you say there was nothing, like, nothing would happen if we went over time? No, it's just a challenge. But I mean, you oh. should try to challenge yourself a little bit in life, you know? Well, I've been challenging myself since this morning. You know how- Well, if you don't get the meatballs on the plate, then they're not on the plate. Exactly. Well, you can just put them on the plate. The struggle, you guys. This has been so much fun watching them cook spaghetti. It keeps finish. burning me. Taste, taste one. I'm not tasting that. That's boiling hot. Is this your guys' first bow tie making spaghetti alone? No. No. No? When have you made spaghetti the before? The sauce keeps burning me. If, if you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Oh! oh. You want me to spit oh. my hand oh. into the pot? <laughs> So let's just see who got the furthest. Both of their meatballs are cooked. I'm checking in on that right now. Jayla's noodles are still in the pot. The only thing that made it to Ada's plate is her noodles. Jayla has nothing on her plate except for the garnished cheese that she stole. So I would say if this were a competition, well, it is a competition, but if it were a timed competition, I Ada would, would have won this. That was unfair because she got to cook her noodles first. Yeah, but your meatballs have been just sitting over there. Yeah, because you've been telling me to just let them sit there until I'm finished. <laughs> blame it on no, me. No, Don't no, try no, to blame no, it on no, me. No, Jayla, your meatballs are just... Welcome to the judging round. The girls have finished their dishes. First up is Ada Bears. Let's see what you got. A lovely pasta with meatballs and a garnish of cheese and parsley. All right. Okay, so from my understanding, these meatballs are homemade meatballs. Yes, right? she made them from scratch. I will say, just looking at it, presentation, I love it. It looks very like something you would get out of a restaurant. Yep. Very nice. I definitely could see this at an Italian restaurant. And she even did it the fancy way with the spoon and the fork. Because you're supposed to oh. use your spoon to twirl the noodles. See, I did not know that. I always wondered why they would give us a spoon. I never it's knew okay. that. He's always lived under a rock, you guys, his yeah. first time out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like separately and then all at once, because it's time just like that. Okay, so I'm going for the meatball. Mmm, tender, flavorful. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. You make it sound like it's delicious and delectable. I think I want some. Okay, now I'm gonna do both. Let's just see if I can do this. Okay, so I'm going for the noodles <laughs> and the sauce. And see, I go old fashioned, I just. <laughs> That's the way not to do it, kids. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Can I try my dish? <laughs> you haven't even tried it yet? You won't bite it? You're always supposed to taste before you present food to people. I'm guessing it's good because you guys are devouring it. It's okay. so good. I'm going in for the meatball. You would never know that this was jarred sauce either. It tastes like homemade. Really good Ada Bear. Good job. I like the meatball. What do you think? Now I'm gonna go in 
all together. I'm gonna go in with You're the meatball like and with the this. sauce. So let's just let's just go in. Let's just go all in. It's a lot We're of sodium, right. children. We're ready. Just do okay. it. I'm going all in, guys. I mean, this is really nice. I couldn't even fit that much food in my mouth if I wanted to. That's so much. I mean, you really gotta get a full bite. You're welcome. You're welcome, dear. You gotta just put it all in your mouth at once. Because <laughs> if you don't do that, you're not really getting the flavor. You're gonna regret talking with your mouth full. The one thing that I think I could do for the meatball is make it a little bit more juicy because it was pretty dry. I thought it was young. Actually, <laughs> hold up. I'm Who sorry. <laughs> Jayla keeps like sneezing behind the camera. All right, so Terry and I tend to talk over each other last We do, so yeah, so I was gonna say. Um, go ahead and go first. Round two. We're ready. What do you have for right, us? So I have the same thing that Ada said. What is this month's She has the same thing that Ada said. Looks a little different though. I like that you just went with the classic fork method. So like, and this is this is more right. family style. I would call it family style That's serving. Right. Uh, I love the little, you know, only one fleck of parsley for the whole dish. That's amazing. No, you don't need parsley just for looks. Okay, so let just me try for looks. This. Are these frozen meatballs? No. Or I don't know. The sauce is kind of weird. I don't like the sauce on this one. I'll tell you that right now, Jayla. The sauce <laughs> is not very good. Did they use the same sauce or no? Mm-mm. Like, there's something up with the sauce. A little over salty. <laughs> Even Enzo doesn't like the sauce. Mm. Hers is roasted garlic. You guys keep eating it, but you say you hate it. I don't hate it. I'm just trying to decide which one's better. Okay. Is this my life? Is this? All right, Jayla, you go ahead and taste and tell us what you think. Have you tasted no. your dish yet? No, I'm just getting a little bit messy. I was actually giving Jayla a hard time. <laughs> I think that the noodles are actually very, very good. They're cooked right, just right. And um, the meatball is really nice and tender and, and, and yummy. It's a little rich though. But I mean, that's not really her fault to make it. That's not her fault. She did not make it, but it is a little rich. Right. Well, That's her. she could have made hers and actually made them better. Yeah. Was this a homemade sauce? No. I'm making a mess. Jar. Okay, jar sauce. Both jar. Okay. All right, we'll get final thoughts in just a minute. Let us finish devouring this food. Yes. Here are my thoughts, you guys. Both dishes were really great. However, if I had to go in for a second dish and eat more of it, I would have, honestly, my honest opinion is I would pick Ada's, but they were both tasted really great. Like either one, you're gonna get a good plate of spaghetti. Is it my He's term? still eating Jayla's plate, so I'm guessing his verdict is gonna go with her. <laughs> um, serious, serious. Business. I liked both plates. I would go in for seconds on both. However, <laughs> I'm going to have to give this one to Ada because I felt like Ada put in the time to make the homemade meatballs, and I also feel like the she did well on the plating. Where Jayla's still tasted amazing and great, I think the presentation might have been a little off. I love how she did a big presentation. Could but have like, been a little neater looking. But like, I feel like it could have been a little neater looking. But I do love the big you Just You're just repeating, Mom. I know, because otherwise, if I don't chime in for him, you guys, Jesse and I have been married 10 years, real quick, side story. If I don't chime in for him, you will get a lot of butt likes for the next five minutes. You're gonna until, get a lot of butt until likes. Until he finally realizes <laughs> what he's gonna say. He'll be like, butt like, butt like, I think, butt like. So then I have to be like whisper in his ear and then it's his own thought at that point. And now I'm kind of nervous okay because, me. what? excuse me, I'm trying to talk here. Excuse me, so was I. Okay, I'm actually kind of nervous because next time that me and Tara have to do a cook off, I think Jayla's gonna just vote me off the show no matter what. Oh I'm, no, I'm voting for you. Yeah, you're, are you gonna vote against me? No, I'm voting for, for you. you. Against me. Because mm -hmm. mom was hating on my meatballs the whole time. No way. And my dish. Do you want me to lie? I'm not a liar, sorry. I think you guys did No, but you could have buttered up the great. truth. Well, anyways, you guys, we're gonna have to say goodbye for now, but not forever because we post new videos every, every single, single day. day. So remember to turn on your notification, notification bell. bell. Hit that subscribe, that subscribe button. button. You got this. I'm done. You got this. I'm done. Congratulations, Anna. Congratulations, Anna. You deserve it. You deserve it. Bye. And no, remember to, to eat your pickles. Click up here to see yesterday's video. Click up there to see.
more vlogs. Click over there to subscribe and also click over there if you're feeling spicy. Also, check out our you, you Now, Musically, and Instagram. You can always find us under Smelly Valley TV. As always, it's your pickles, kids.